Investing is not that, is really not complicated. I mean, the, the, the basic framework for it is simple. Now, then you, you have to work at it some to find the best pockets of, of uh, undervaluation, maybe, or something. But you didn't have to have a, you didn't have to have a high IQ. You didn't have to have lots of investment smarts to buy junk bonds in 2002 or even to do some of the stuff that was available when LTCM got in trouble. You really just had to have sort of the courage of your convictions. You had to have the willingness to do something when everybody else was petrified. Okay, so when Buffett refers to junk bonds in 2002, he's referring to high yield, risky bonds, unsecured usually, for businesses and here what I'm showing is the high yield effect a uh, high yield index triple C rated bonds and if you look at that time the bonds were yielding as much as 25% which means they were getting paid 25% on these bonds to take the risk of funding these companies and if you look this index when there's a lot of fear, this index spikes over 20% often, and that indicates a time of fear and a time of constrained funding. And that's when Buffett jumps in, when, when the juice is worth the squeeze. And then eventually, when things cool off, the yields go down to 11, 9, 8. In 2021, there were 7 for these risky bonds. That's when he steps back and he waits till they get hot again. If we invert this yield, I bet you it matches the stock market. When the stock market gets cheaper, obviously the yields on these risky bonds go up. Inverted, you'll see that every spike is also a good time to buy stocks because these are times where the whole market is distressed. Might this be a good indicator to keep? Because you know Buffett's watching. Cheers.